March 2001 and Lazio visited Elland Road to face Leeds in the final match of the second group stage. Leeds, the surprise package of that season's Champions League, had already secured their place in the quarterfinals, whilst Lazio had already been eliminated, so this match was effectively a dead rubber. It seemed no one had told the two teams. With the pressure off, the Whites and Lazio treated Elland Road to a classic. Commentary comes from Jim Beglin and first Peter Brackley. Take a check on the teams. Leeds themselves aren't at full strength. Alan Smith and Eric Backer won't start as they're both a yellow card away from missing the quarterfinal. Rio Ferdinand is rested along with Olivier Decor and David Batty. But uh, Viduka there up front with Harry Kuehl then. Jason Wilcox on the flank. Radaby's out injured, so Matteo switches to centre-half alongside Danny Mills. Lee Bowyer and Gary Kelly are back, so is Paul Robinson. And Jacob Burns and Alan Mabry have rear starts in midfield. It might be Lazio's speed string, but some familiar names all the same. Among them, Fabrizio Ravanelli, once of Middlesbrough fame, of course. Nedved, Mihailovic, Stankovic and Fernando Coto are all established internationals. And up front, well, Claudio Lopez. He's the man who helped inspire Valencia's surge to last season's final, continuing now his comeback from long-term injury. <laughs> this is Wilcox now, just teasing Castroman. Got Ian Hard at support if he needs it. Good foraging here by Wilcox. Now there's danger. And he might have done better there, Bowyer. He knows what a good chance that was created by Leeds with their ingenuity. That was very well worked. Good work by Wilcox down the left. Came inside, just flicked it in for Viduka. A little peel off from Boyer. And he was just leaning back as he struck it and consequently got it high. Just as laid back, he just kind of leans back a touch and underneath it. Coming up to the 20 minute mark. No scorers yet, one or two chances. And certainly some enterprising football from both teams. Pavel Nedved. Here's the Czech Republic international again. Good play again from Lazio. Dangerous ball towards Ravanelli! What a good finish, too! Oh, he rolled back the ears there. That was such a good header from Fabrizio Ravanelli. And the fans, well, there might not be many of them here, but they enjoyed that. That was beautifully worked. I mean, the, the cross from Nedved is an absolute peach. I mean, he's played it right on Ravanelli's head. Frankly, he couldn't miss from there, and he just makes sure, like the wily old devil he is, as he gets a chance like that. He's not going to turn it down, but a great, great delivery in from the Czech. And 1 0. Here's Kelly off on a run. Nedved almost brought him down. The play by Maybury and Harry Kuehl here. Bowyer on the near post. Now it's Bowyer. Oh, beautifully done. Oh, that is such a clever goal from Lee Bowyer. And he joins the Champions League's leading scorers this season on six. A memorable goal. That's exquisite. It is a gem of a goal when Harry Kuehl heads it. The awareness and the skill to actually lift it over Marco Gianni is, is absolutely tremendous. It really is. He knew exactly what he was doing and the execution was perfection. That's very, very clever. But then again, we've come to expect that from Lee Boyer. That's exquisite. It's too long for Ravanelli. He's given a penalty. I think the initial contact as well was outside the box, but I think Matteo's arm or his hand was still on Ravanelli's back, referee's always likely to give the spot kick as opposed to a free kick. Sinisa Mihailovic will take the penalty kick and has a chance set to restore Lazio's advantage. He's normally pretty lethal from this range. 
He is again. Lazio go back in front, albeit in controversial fashion. Well, certainly they are missing the inspiration of Dacor, who was absolutely magnificent in the game in Rome. We needed run things from midfield. Now, Harry Kill, Maduka making a run into the middle, so is Boya. Still Kill. There's that familiar change of pace, but it didn't deceive Colonese. Matteo on the edge of the 18-yard box. Okay, Boyo has gone near post. Did really well to get his header away, too. Good ball in, a lot of pace on it. Somebody needs to attack it. Oh, he's done very, very well. Marcajani well placed, but it's a very good header. Leeds who've lost only two of their last ten in the Champions League. Harry Kuehl linking up well then with Mabry. Just took it too far though, and Fernando Coto had the experience to ward him off, but at the expense of a corner. And like Viduca before, didn't give it up, correct decision as well, and I think Fernando Coto's just gone down awkwardly and done something uh, to one of his fingers. Makajani staying at home! And it's fired in by Wilcox, and it's 2-2. Really emphatic finish there on his return to the team. Beaming smile from Wilcox, he's back at business. Well, we're seeing some very good goals tonight, that's for sure. And again, this was, was spot on. He has to catch it right, and he catches it perfectly. Not always easy to execute those ones coming at your first time on the volley, right through the legs of Kasterman on the post. Can you believe it? Too much pace on it, he can't do anything about it. And I don't think either manager is going to be too pleased about the defending up to now either. We're to the last few seconds now of the first half. Maduka. Oh, that's good skill too. Fernando Koto almost brought him down. No room for error there. As the first half comes to a close, it's certainly been an interesting 45 minutes. Controversial to some extent, Ravinelli uh, still arguing the toss here with Kelly. Ravinelli giving his team the lead, he was then brought down for the penalty tucked away by Mihailovic, but Leeds had already come back through Lee Boya. And then a second equaliser from Jason Wilcox to set up the second half here. It's 2-2 at Ellen Road. Lazio to get us underway, now kicking from left to right. So away we go then, as Stankovic plays it off to Lopez. Now Mills, turning it to Stankovic. And Mabry hasn't managed to keep the ball alive. It is a free kick to Leeds for the initial challenge. Ian Hart stepping up. Surely we'll never go from here, will he? Well, this will be ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Matteo has gone up there. He's looking for Viduka, and then Boya! Well, that snapshot, fired through there by Wilcox. Well, he claimed his first goal of the season in the opening half. And he's eager for more. Oh, but it's great to see the players working off Viduka. It was a clever little flick by Ian Hart. Viduka strong, holds off Fernando Couto. Boyer denied. And Wilcox unlucky. Colonese. That's a loose ball by him, though. Now Kuehl 
on to Viduka. This is promising for Leeds. It's Harry Kuehl again. He's just bent it too high in search of that elusive breakthrough goal for him. Great idea. I mean, Wilcox was screaming it from Viduka for it. Didn't play him in, and you could see what Kuehl was thinking. Do it early. As soon as it comes back to him, he's got all the space in the world. He just tries to curl it into that top corner. Keeper was off his line too, a little bit lower, and he would have been caught. Mills stepping in ahead of Pavel Nedved. Now Kuehl for Duca. He nearly got Bowyer in. He's on the march again now. Bowyer is for post! Couldn't quite get a clean strike on it. Well, it's the best we've seen from Alan Mabry. That's great skill to beat his man with great ease. And it just got a little flick, I think, from Fernando Couto. Now Kelly. Harry Kuehl. It's Kelly again. With that Kuehl looking to spin away from the Heilovic. And the Yugoslav did leave his leg trailing. Can be a bit cynical at times, Mihailovic, as he underlined here. It's a great touch, though, by Kuehl. Ian Hart, who can be so deadly with these three kicks. But Duka! <laughs> it's a fabulous goal from Mark Paduka. Well, no wonder. His price tag is rising around the European scene. He has made such an impact for Leeds this season, and this is a cracking header. Well, it's great strength. You see the way he's holding off his man, Mihailovic, and he just can't get near it. The arm goes out, and they know the delivery is going to be pretty good. Give him something to get on the end of. Defending again from Mihailovic is poor, but a good finish. Once he gets on the end of it, Mark Viduka picks a spot well, and Marco Gianni, no chance once it hits the deck and skims. Nedved, Veronio sees so much around him, Nedved. Now Kastraman, going up a cul-de-sac though and running into Jacob Burns. Burns has come into it more in the second half as well. Hackworth in pursuit. That's Colonese who's gone across. Kuehl, good header. He got up well there. Pesarese was marking him, but not very effectively. Well, he's unchallenged again. Pesarese has just stood and watched it as Kuehl just jumped above him. He's got to make a challenge there. The keeper's done well. Maybe Harry Kuehl would have been better off just trying to sneak it in near post. Going across the keeper, I think, helped the, uh, the Lazio custodian. Custodian, did you say? I did. Do you like that one? I don't not know where it came from, but... Harry Kuehl. That's a decent effort, too. Well fielded by Luca Marcagiani. It was a good header, good solid header, but close enough to Marcagiani for him to get down quickly. Mills policing Claudio Lopez. I think Lazio want to make a change. Whoops, was Robinson's dreadful clearance. Seized on here by Kasterman. And surely uh, that was an illegal challenge. He was in full flow there. Hart who crashed into him. Well, Matteo seems to think he took a dive, but I think that's fair enough. I think Ian Hart certainly caught him. When is a dive not a dive? I'm better if I can tell these days. They're good at it, some of them. But he was caught then. Now, keep your eye on Sinisa Mihailovic. Lazio's kingpin from the set piece, although uh, Nedved alongside is no slouch either. Salas is about to come on. The Chilean international, who's become pretty much a regular again lately for Lazio. So on favouring a front two normally of Crespo and Salas, certainly in Serie A games. And Claudio Lopez. Is not going to finish the match. 
of making his recovery on his way back from that long-term injury. It is a gradual process. On comes Salas to pose fresh problems now for Leeds with his darting pace up front and his eye for goal. <laughs> Meantime, Mihailovic trying to compose himself. He gave this free kick ages ago. Here is Mihailovic. Great save from Robinson. He'd not had that many to make, but boy, was he on top of that one. Oh, that's top draw. I mean, it was a well-struck free kick by Mihailovic. Took a little nick off the end of the wall. That's great, great goalkeeping to get across and beat it away. Superb. Shades of his form earlier in the campaign. Hackworth. Wilcox was strong and determined. It's Bowie's cross. Now Kuhl. Turned away from Stankovic, but he was caught. Well, this is within Ian Hart's range, most definitely perfect for him, left-footed. Just depends on which side he's going to go for. It's a worrying moment for Luca Marcagiani. Ravanelli is back in the defensive wall. As Ian Hart lines up a strike on goal. So adept from this range. Can he do it again? It needed to be a, a might lower. Yeah, I think he'd probably give it about a six, six out of ten. Decent attempt, but he just didn't quite get the dip he wanted on it. Rabinelli had shown himself there, but so too as Stankovic. That comes Wilcox again. He has worked diligently, but Kasterman could be in, and then Rabinelli. Oh, Leeds don't want to let it slip now, it's Salas! Off the uprights! Oh, he's furious he didn't tuck it away. But boy, did he turn quickly. Well, David O'Leary's out in the touchline. He's furious with Jacob Burns. He tried to be too clever, really, outside his own box. He got robbed. Great little ball by Ravinelli. For me, that deserved to go. Salas. Nedved had taken a tumble. Pays a And Nedved. Couldn't get through the first time, Ramanelli, desperate defending by Leeds. Still they can't get it away, Stakovic, then Baronio. He scored his first goal of the season last week against Anderlecht. Mabry has gone down here, and it's getting out of hand at the moment. Not for the first time tonight, things have got rather overheated. Well, it's retained that feistiness, hasn't it, all the way through? I mean, people haven't held back on their tackles. And I think the one thing Leeds needed in that big scramble before was just somebody to get a foot on it. It was a bad tackle on... It was Nedved, I think, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was Nedved on Wilcox. Oh, Maybury. Maybury got it. Oh, was it Maybury? Yeah. Maybury got caught. I thought it was Wilcox. I mean, Nedved was a little late there. That was nasty. Yeah, you're right. It is Maybury. Wilcox is standing on the left just now. Nedved gingerly back on his feet, but for my money, he was the guilty party there. He was. Oh, how high do you want it? I honestly didn't think it was that high initially. That That's... If he can avoid a card for that, he's doing well. No wonder maybe he's furious. But it's Lazio who have the free kick. Dangerous territory again for David O'Leary's team. David Batty just coming on as Mabry is carried off. It's the end of his night. Batty was given a breather this evening. Kept out of the firing line. But the old war horse is on now. As Leeds endeavour to shut up shop right at the last. Here is Mihailovic. Oh! That's fantastic. Bent beyond the keeper. And right into the corner 
from the master of that kind of situation. Well, they shouldn't have the free kick to begin with because Leeds should have had a free kick in their favour after the dreadful tackle on Mabry. But once he got over it, that's magnificent again. I mean, we've been speaking about it throughout the match, what he can do, and there's an example. That, that's brilliant for Mihailovic. Unjust, though, in my opinion. David O'Leary, well, he won't be too despondent at the final outcome. Paducah with that cracking header. And Leeds seem to be on their way to victory. It's a boy at Allen Road, and the fans who might have winced when previous draws were made won't be doing so now. Bring on who you like will be the fervent message, I'm sure, from Leeds United. Despite this 3-3 draw tonight at Allen Road, their spirits are really high.